Are you tired of wearing the same old t-shirts every day? Are you sick of wearing plain shirts that are as plain as your meaningless droll existence? Are you tired of not advertising your favorite YouTube channels on your body? There's got to be a better way. There is. What? That's right. For one easy payment of one amount, you can be the proud owner of a The Basement t-shirt. Forget the days of trying to put a TV over your head. You can watch The Basement and be in a basement and wear a basement all at the same time. Features include left sleeve, right sleeve, neck hole, and more. It's a shirt you can wear while supporting your favorite YouTube channel. The Basement. Welcome to The Basement, the friendliest shirt on you. Shirt is available for a limited time. Pick up your Basement t-shirt today. Link is in the description below. What are you doing on the computer? Go outside, so beautiful!
Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. Guys, Scrap Mechanics Survival Mode. I played a little bit of this a couple days ago, uh, but I learned a lot since then because, um, my goodness, I played about six hours with my brother and his friend last night. Oh, and my brother and my brother-in-law last night. Uh, you guys, Lucas the Pie Guy, thank you so much for the pie. Uh, everybody get a hashtag going for Lucas in the chat below. I also moved my chat and everything up to a screen above me. So I'm, I'm getting used to the fact that I have to look up to see the chat. But I think I will get used to it. You guys, this game is like Minecraft, except we can also build cars and trucks and machines and stuff like that. So I'm super pumped. We're going to play some more today, but we're going to call this one... We're going to start a new game. So we're going to call this... Uh, um, uh, perf, sir, poof, poofluos, superfluous, new game. There we go. If you know about superfluous, super, superfluous, uh, go ahead and shout out what that's from in the chat. Uh, my day is going great. Chaos. Good to see you. Uh, a better Minecraft. I don't know about that. I mean, Minecraft is still its thing, right? But um, we, do, we do have a mod in chat, I think. Lucas was, well, Lucas is kind of here. We also have the bot. Uh, we also have me, so I'm watching. So if you are bad, then I will destroy you. Destroy you. But we're not going to do that. All right, let's start off right away. I've got my hammer. I know how to pick up things without my mouse button now, so you don't have to listen to the incessant clicking sounds of my mouse button. We're also going to harvest these things because they're very important. We need these embers from these trees that appear like they are not mineable, but they are. They so are. We're also going to grab this stuff. Component kits are very awesome and useful. We're not going to mine any wood yet because we don't need that, but we are going to go over here. We're going to grab the bucket. Put that in our inventory. And I'm wondering if I can pick... Yes, I can pick up the dirt mounds. Very useful. Can't pick up that thing. That's all right. We are going to um, be doing some farming in this game but a little bit later not right away so we're grabbing all of this stuff that they're giving us in the beginning just to kind of teach us how to use these things uh, you can also just take this stuff apart but we're not going to do that yet because we don't need to can't take the sign apart that makes sense but we're just gathering things that we need to move right along hey collective what's up um dude if you haven't played this game collective you need to play this and I would love to play this with you. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. I mentioned that briefly in a tweet that I tweeted to you in reply earlier in the day. I'm guessing you saw that. You're pretty good at the social medias and the Twitters. Ray, what's happening? Glad you're here. Thank you so much for modding for us while you're here as well. Very much appreciated. So there is stuff we can do in our ship. We can also put out the fires that are in the ship. Um, kind of wondering if I can just basically not do any of that right now. Because I don't really feel like I need to. There's a robot we need to kill, though. They're attacking me already. Just walk backwards. That's what you do. You walk backwards, they have a hard time hitting you. And then you can hit them. That's how it goes. Come on. Oh, these guys are so cute. I feel bad, kind of, by killing them. But I also don't feel bad about it. <clears throat> We're going to refine this scrap metal because we need this for other things. Yes, and I had no idea what it was, so I figured stop by while I can. Yeah, so it's like Minecraft, but we can build machines. Uh, you can build trucks and cars and all sorts of great stuff like that. We can kill this cow, but I don't want to because they're cute and cuddly. So let's go in the ship and collect the things that we can collect. Oh, boy. That's all on fire. Um, there's stuff on the other side of that fire, too, that I want. So we are going to... We're going to put out the fire, at least. <clears throat> let's grab our fire buckets. 
Yes, he's done with his food. You're gonna look up more about this game later. Awesome. Yeah, you can you can watch my other stream. Uh, I think it's like fifteen dollars for the game, but uh, it was also on sale when I bought it yesterday, two days ago. So it might be like twenty bucks. I don't know. But as I I put a lot of time into it already, so I would say it's very much worth the money. <clears throat> All right. How you doing, Kayla? Good to see you, DD Dragon. What is happening? Well, what's happening right now is that our ship is on fire and we're putting it out in scrap mechanic. <clears throat> this is survival mode too, so I have hunger and thirst and all of that jazz, which is a real buzzkill if you ask me. Actually, it makes it more interesting. Get to put the fire out here. We're going to grab that that there we're gonna grab these little soda cans because those shakes are actually good for our health uh, we don't need might as well grab the microwave let's see what we got okay we got lots of space in our inventory still let's grab this because this is kind of like a chest grab the calendar why not little flowers let's just make sure we get the stuff out of the ship that we want to have here's a tire those are kind of expensive to make early on Okay, grab some of that. I don't know what that is. These are boxes. That's toilet paper. Um, what is that thing that I just grabbed? A pipe short. A short pipe, probably. <laughs> pipe comma short. That's what that should all be about. Okay, we can power up the ship, but honestly, we don't need to because we just grabbed just about everything that we needed from here. There are a couple chests hanging out around the sides of the ship, plus we're going to knock down these ember trees. Woohoo! Collect those embers. Those are needed to making a higher level metal, which we are going to want later on. So grab those ember trees. We can always come back to and uh, grab these things again because trees and such do respawn in this game on their own. They don't like replant. They just grow again after a certain amount of time. I think it's a couple days though. It seems like it would be too easy if it was uh, instantaneous. Let's grab this burnt tree. Okay, this burnt tree. Ooh, chest down here. Let's get what's inside of it. Circuit boards. A tote, tote bot. We'll grab it. Why not? This video should get a thousand likes. Wow. Yeah, if you guys like watching us play Scrap Mechanic, uh, this is a game I could see Peter really enjoying too, because it's got its Minecrafty sort of vibe, which he has become very uh, addicted to Minecraft, which isn't a bad thing. I think that uh, it suits Peter well to play Minecraft. But Brandon, welcome uh, to the channel. The name of this game is Scrap Mechanic, and I'm playing in survival mode, which is new. As I understand it, the survival mode of this game just came out. <clears throat> All right, so we've got an inventory that's full of a lot of things. But it's not quite full yet. We're going to make our way straight over to an area that has better building properties. Like, we can build more different types of things. Um, so we're going to head over there right now. And there are places that I can loot along the way that I'm probably going to walk past just because I want to make sure that we get to where we're going and set our respawn point there before we get too much further. But I am going to go up here and loot this uh, area because it's got buckets and some other nice things in it. There are robots up here, though, that I got to watch out for. So here we go. How much does this game cost? Yeah, I think it's 20 bucks on Steam. It only works for Windows. So sorry, Mac users and people who don't have PCs. Um, but I've been having so much fun playing this. Just want to make sure my inventory doesn't get completely full up. Carrots, we will take. Today I re-downloaded Deltarune and Undertale on my Switch and completed Deltarune. 
I've never even heard of or played Delta Rune. Okay, we need this. That's a power battery right there, or a master battery. Got some gasoline, some seeds. Let's climb up this thing. Ooh, there is a chest over here. Let's get its contents. Your inventory is pretty big. Like you can hold quite a bit of stuff as you can see, but it's already getting pretty full for us. So I think if I remember right, there was a little bit of bad guys I needed to worry about up here, but maybe not. That chest literally have nothing in it. Oh, some carrot seeds got stuck on the ceiling. Let's refine this scrap metal. Ha ha ha, Fabian Cortez. I am Ted. Nice to meet you. Uh, Peter doesn't usually do the live streams on this channel. Um, and I normally only live stream on Saturday night, but I got a rare opportunity. My kids are hanging out with their grandparents tonight. And my wife was like, hey, uh, I could use some time just kind of hanging out on my own tonight. So you could do whatever you want. And I was like, I know. I'm going to play this game that I'm really liking now. And I'm going to stream it at a random time that normally I don't stream. So you can thank my wife and my kids and my grandparents and, and my wife's parents for making this stream possible. This stream brought to you by grandparents and wife. And all of the fame, amazing sponsors and Patreon patrons, thank you so much for doing what you do in the channel. Everybody get a hashtag going for Patreon patrons down below. Did everyone have a good Tuesday? Yeah, my Tuesday has been great so far. It's ending pretty nicely as well. Thank you for asking, Ray. Deltarune is basically Undertale, but in my opinion, kind of better. Just by a bit, though. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. Is, the, is it as meta as... Undertale is just like constantly breaking the fourth wall characters literally talking to the game player camera all the time not that that's a bad thing I think we can all agree that's what makes Undertale great or one of the things that makes Undertale great <clears throat> this is where I'm going to kind of walk past some stuff that I could clearly be looting um, I have a pretty full inventory already, and there are deadly robots that want to try to attack me, and I'm just going to avoid them after I get a couple of things in the chests here. Because I do want those component kits. But I think I've got a decent amount of them already. Okay, no robots have seen me yet. So I'll just go ahead and grab more stuff. So the way that this survival mode works is the robots will basically leave you alone unless you aggro them if you get too close. Like that one almost saw me. Um, or if you plant crops, because you need food to survive. So if you plant crops, they will sense that there is un... Uh, what's the... What, what does it say? Unauthorized farming happening. And they will come and attack you every 24 minutes or 10, 15 minutes or something like that. So waves of enemies come. We can mine these blocky rocks later on once we make a drill. Very helpful piece of equipment. Um, so we're going to do that a little bit later. There's more of those cows. Just taking a look over at the sides here to see if we can find any other rare minerals and stuff uh, at the end of delta rune you can talk to sand and say nice to see you again to him but he doesn't know you oh sands interesting is delta rune made by the same people who made undertale so this place is sort of neat but if i remember right there's nothing great here uh here's what's cool though you know like you can chop down trees to get wood but you can also just take wood like from this deck eh, just take chunks of wood whoop robots take that circuit board um don't know if there's anything of importance here this thing has numbers on it which looks like carrot seeds some uh, turnip seeds all right, we're going to keep moving right along. We can go ahead and come back to this place in a little while. But where we want to go is 
in that general direction. You see that glowy thing off in the distance there? That is home base. That's where we want to go. We're going to set up a new base there, and we can build some pretty awesome stuff over there. Toby Fox made both Undertale and Deltarune. He also composes the music for both games. I heard that uh, he made the games and the music, which is pretty awesome. He's got some good music in the in the Undertale. I haven't played Deltarune, the, Deltarune though. <laughs> the basement. How are you talking? You're playing the game. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of like go into this riff mode where I just talk. I don't really think about what I'm saying. I just talk while I play. And words come out, and then I don't know what happens after that. So this place right here is unoccupied territory, which is cool. Except for these robots that are milling about. Boom. Dead. He did. Okay, we're going to pick this up. We can mine it later. Mine it, refine it. This is the cool place where we eventually will be. And I wonder if my battery, my current battery will work in here. Okay, am I safe? Am I safe, fish? I don't know, there's a lot of robots all around. Let's just hope we're safe. Battery, battery, battery. Boom. We have power. Awesome. Excited about all the power that we now have. Look at this here. The craft bot requires 10 component things, 10 circuit boards, and 90 scrap metal. So we're going to have to go and kill some robots and things in order to get all of those materials. But that's fine. We have plenty of stuff. So I'm going to go in here. See if there's anything in here. Nope. So unlike Minecraft, and maybe other things break, but unlike Minecraft, whoa, your tools don't break, which is really nice. There's a circuit board right there. Here's some scrap metal. We'll just go ahead and refine it right now while we can. Hey, anybody who's on the basement Discord, we're going to post a drawing I made if you want to see it. Oh, cool. Yeah, thanks for sharing your drawing. When your headphones are so stupid, they activate Siri, pause the stream, start music, etc. <laughs> that it sounds terrible. All right, so because I'm wearing a backpack, I got this terrible back arch situation going on. Plus... The characters are so wobbly in this game, they kind of just wobble about. But I think that's all you need to do to set your respawn. So I'm going to do that. Well, my respawn's already set. I'm going to go ahead and eat a tomato. My son Joshua has been calling them tomatoes recently, and I don't understand why. I think it's because of watching shows where they pronounce it that way. The heist command isn't working. Oh. Sorry about that. There's not much I can do about that right now, unless we're going to go ahead and take a half hour break while I look through boring menus in the Streamlabs chatbot thingamajig. Is that guy seeing me, or is he just walking around? I think he's just walking around. Let's refine. We'll need a few more scrap pieces. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Did you know that people that will sell you, there are people that will sell you guns? I'm hoping you're talking about, like, in the game. <laughs> well, I mean, there are people that will sell you real guns in real life, too. Um, you should probably be responsible with situations like that. <laughs> Alright, we need more component parts. I think we, we need some more scrap metal still. Um, we're going to go ahead and place some of our chests and such. So we have this thing, we have a microwave, which apparently is also a chest. So we'll go ahead and place we'll put our microwave Okay, 
and then we can put things in it like um, the scrap wheel and these chemicals and how about some tomato seeds and we can also put some of that in there okay making some space in the old inventory so we can go out and attack the robots hey Ted Elliot says hello he likes this game oh well hello Elliot and glad you like this game. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game too, Elliot. Whoa. Oh. Beautiful. Another circuit board. These flowers can be used to make things. So we will eventually be making things out of the flowers. Let's go over here and see what we can find. More flowers. More flowies. Good. Good. If you look up here, we've got honeycomb growing on this wall, which is useful for making tires. Beeswax. Sorry, not honeycomb. Honeycomb, honeycomb. Me want honeycomb. Honeycomb is probably one of my favorite cereals. I'm just going to be straight up about that. Sorry if all you other cereals are getting jealous now. What's your guys' favorite cereals? Uh, hey, Ted, randomly trading spots will re will spawn on their make. They look like a plane hangar made of scrap metal. You can trade stuff for a gun to kill the robots from a long range. Oh, cool. So randomly spawned things. Uh, ran trading posts I bet will spawn oh okay we grabbed all that stuff so that is good I don't like this dense forest situation because it's hard to see if there are baddie guys out here. Here's a chest in the middle of a field. I want some more component pieces. Well, that looks deadly over there. Bet there's big robots over there. That's what we need because they drop scrap metal. Oh, sweet. This is a whole burning forest biome. We can get tons of that uh, ember over here. G awesome. Wow, cool. We don't want to lose our way back. So we're going to avoid that a little bit. See if there are any big buildings around here. Things where we can go to find robots to fight. Hey, speaking of big robots we can fight, here's one. Welcome to Le Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. Zelda's gamers here. Awesome. There's another component kit. Not upset about that at all. I think we'll go over here and we'll grab some more of this ember material. I don't think we need much more of it. This is a really yucky looking biome. Bet the fire probably hurts us too. That building over there looks like I need to go there. And then once I'm there, I need to be careful. <laughs> Gosh, this looks like the place where the boss should be with all of this burning brush around it okay just got to be very strategic about how we go about this K 
Okay, I don't think we upset any other robots. Oh! Well, excuse me, Ozzy. Component kit, we got some batteries, nice. And we got a circuit board in that chest. We are very close to having all the materials we need to build a very important piece of equipment. And I think with that, we just collected the last thing we needed. So I'm going to carefully scale this building, kind of collect a few more things, and we're going to head back and we're going to build our craft bot, which is useful for making lots of different types of blocks and tools and things of like that nature. There's going to be a cool robot boss later on. Sweet! Gotta love cool robot bosses. Our inventory is actually full. Let's go back home. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Great. I'm doing fantastic. Let's hope we can find our way back. Just realize there's not like a map or a compass or anything like that. So we're going to have to go by our gut, which, yeah, my wife wants to play the switch. We're going to have to grab it here. What game are you going to play? You don't know? Probably Animal Crossing? Maybe. Awesome. Tetris Ooh, Tetris 99. Nice choice. Everybody is saying hi to you, by the way, in the chat. Hello. Lisa says, hello, just like that. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what's this area? Cool. Looks like little tents. Ooh. Whoa. What? What is going on? Do I get something cool if I bring him back to my lab? Because I'm pretty sure that's the direction I'm heading. I think we're this way. Please help, he's saying. And oy 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 oy. Pretty sure I'm seeing my place. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm being attacked. Oh my gosh. That was stressful. You can grab the scrap metal. I'm not going to say who my favorite mod is, so just so none of their feelings get hurt. <laughs> Maybe because I don't have a favorite. <laughs> I'm thirsty, so I'm going to go ahead and have one of these shakes. I'm going to have two of these shakes. Dr. Volk, good to see you. Okay, I'm pretty sure we want to go this direction. 
Yeah, there's our our bases over here. I bet with the right tools I could open this up. So I'm going to bring this I think he's like a prisoner of some type. Oh shoot, am I going the wrong way? Uh-oh. Um um, okay, where's my, my dude? Here he is, okay. Oh, man. Let's just keep moving. If I can find the road, maybe I can find my house. Here's a road. Oh man, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, thank goodness. How did we get way over there? Doesn't really matter. All that matters is we're on our way home. Hitting a man trapped in a ball, I've never, Encounter one of these men trapped in a ball before. So we're going to just do our best to take good care of him. Keep him alive. Poor guy's getting really dizzy. Because I'm not just hitting him like straight forward. I'm like spinning him like crazy. But I feel like... This guy's got to be useful for something. Okay, we're back. Back home. At least I hope this is the building we were in before. Alright, you can just live over there, dude. Okay, yes, this is where we want to be. And we're going to go ahead and build our craft bot, please. Kind of wait for it to get built. Pretty sure that guy's unconscious now. Hello, craft bot. All right, we used up a lot of our... So how, how do I help you, dude? Maybe I could put you upright. That might be helpful. Okay, that's better. All right, um, if anybody knows how to open that thing up, uh, please let me know and we'll see what we can do. Maybe maybe I can put him in a certain location and he'll, he'll just get better. All right, looking at this thing here, we can create one thing at a time. Um, but the next thing that we wanna create is a refinery bot, which we need more component things than we have. We need more metal than we have, and we need more circuit boards than we have. So eventually we're gonna have to go out and do more of that stuff. The refinery bot's really nifty for making things. What do we have out here? Yeah, we don't, we don't really have anything super great out here. Um, anything that we build is going to 
bad guys are going to attempt to attack us. And we want to be close to the water with that as well. So, oh, sweet Mama J. Gotta love having an awesome wheel just hanging around. Okay. I think we're going to want to go and plant crops. We have a little bit of stuff that we can build a little bit of a wall around the crops. So that'll be a good thing to do. Okay. So this is where me and my brother and our fr and and my brother-in-law set up our farming area before. So that's what I'm going to do again just so that way I know where everything is. We're going to take this wood and we're going to build ourselves a wall. see here uh, yeah just like that not much of a wall but uh, it is a wall nonetheless all right we'll put the soil there let's see I kind of want to just start with a small amount of crops just because I don't really want to deal with large amounts of bad guys. All right, we got our crops. And yes, you do have to fill up your water one bucket at a time. Every once in a while, you get lucky and you might water two plants at once. Like that? Haha, -ha, nice. And then uh, now that we did that, I'm going to go ahead and chop down a tree. See if we can't get more wood. All right, let's refine this stuff. Ted, what fan art has never been done that should be? And I'll do it. <laughs> uh no fan art has ever been made, to my knowledge, that puts me and Peter uh, in Breath of the Wild. I don't know how that would even be done, but that's one thing I can think of, anyway. So there's a, a machine that can actually do this refining for me, which we're going to work our way up to getting. Uh, the nice thing about the robots attacking us... Uh, when we farm is that they come to us. We don't have to go out and potentially risk our lives to get pieces, component pieces and such. <laughs> I'm on it. Nice. Let's just protect this, uh, little farm of ours a little bit better make that wall a little bit bigger once those plants start to grow it'll say unauthorized farming has begun and it'll start the countdown timer until the next wave of bad guys so we're just going to try to Build a little bit of a wall around this stuff so that way these plants are protected. Because what will happen is the robots show up, they start trying to steal your crops, uh, and then they attack you if you're nearby. And if you have any stuff that's built that you made, they'll, like, take the pieces, too. They'll, like, scrap your vehicles for parts and stuff like that. When are you guys going to be able to be together again? <laughs> Well, uh, the state of Minnesota is supposed to be lifting its shelter-in-place order uh, in sometime next week, but we do have a um, 
There's a press conference being held by our state governor tomorrow that's going to give us a more updated version of what's going on. My guess is Peter and I are going to be able to be together uh, tomorrow evening. And we're going to need to because we have to record our 50,000 subscribers special, which is we're just like right around the corner from 50,000 subscribers. Thanks to you guys <clears throat> for being amazing. Watching our videos and sharing them with family and friends and like YouTube does some of the work of showing our videos to new people. But I mean, you guys, when you show it to a friend or a family member, it uh, really does a lot for the channel because it tends to create stronger bonds and connections with our channel when you guys share with each other. So very much appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel. We could not be building this thing without you guys. All right, we got two thick there. All of our plants are watered. Um, I want to build a wall around the uh, the entire thing. We're just going to do that again. Because we can. Heads up, 7-Up Raid? What? Siren 7's here with the raid. Well, welcome. Divergent Bowtie. Thank you for joining us. Okay, hang on. Let me get to a safe location here. Safe-ish location. Next to these plants that attract deadly, deadly robots. Okay. We have a raid, says Ray. I'm going to figure out when you guys started raiding. <laughs> Light Gazer. Light Gazer might have been the first person in here. Welcome, Light Gazer. Welcome, Merlin. Good to see you guys. Yeah, we're being raided. Awesome. Thank you, Renee W., for being here as well. Welcome to the channel. Antonio de Leon. Heads up, 7-Up Raid. Glad you guys are here. Raph. Howdy, howdy. And, wow, gosh. Welcome, Raiders. Glad you guys are all here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there are more people that are missing here. Lightning Faron. Awesome name and welcome. And do so confidently. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> getting my attention with, the, with, with uh, adding my name here so I don't miss anything. Seven Lightning Raid? What? <laughs> Gray Snake is here. Awesome. Awesome. So cool to hear from you as well, Gray Snake. In in Vlove. Welcome to the channel. I just picked something off of my chair and I don't know. <laughs> Relaxing FG. Glad you're here. Oh gosh. Let's see. I, I'm afraid I'm missing people, but I don't think uh, I am. Siren7. Yo, Ted. Thought I'd share some love since we don't stream at the same time and I never get to raid you. Well, thank you so much, uh, Siren7. And thank you guys all so much for stopping by for the raid. Uh, yeah, what were you guys playing on your on your stream? Or were you crafting something? I know you do some of your chill, chill streams recently. Welcome, guys. And sorry I didn't see that earlier. Uh, sometimes I just get very focused. And by sometimes, I mean always. Always so focused. That's a little bit of a joke. I'm gonna get this wall built. It, it, ugh, it's such a lame piece of wall right there. Let's get the rest of this wood. Fifty likes as well. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what that means, guys. 50 likes equals everybody gets 50 rupees in the chat as well. And we had 50 people watching at once. That, this is a big raid. Awesome. Welcome new subscribe uh, new 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 folks. Uh, obviously, if you want, feel free to subscribe and uh, like the stream. Uh, if you like stuff that is family-friendly, we're always family-friendly here at the basement. Uh, we do some streams. 
We have new videos that come out every day. Play a lot of stuff on the Switch. Me playing a PC game is actually kind of more of a rarity. But welcome, all ye raiders. Raiders of the night. Raiders of the Lost Ark. See you later, Zelda Gamer Wolfie. I was streaming Rise of Tomb Raider tonight. Oh, cool. Such a fun game. <laughs> lightning Faron raided me. Then we raided you. Oh, that's why it was a Lightning 7 raid. I get it now. Awesome. So cool. If you get 100 likes, that would be amazing. Yeah, we had um, record high stream attendance on Saturday. We had 147 people watching at once. It was absolutely awesome. Um, but streams are also fun when there aren't a ton of people watching. You get to really dig into the chat and have a fun time. Just hanging out. Down the street, same old things we did last week. Not a thing to do but talk to you. Oh, hello, Wisconsin. Thank you, Ashton Kutcher, for all you do. Susan, welcome to the stream. Rise of Tomb Raider. I love, I have that one, but I haven't played it. And that reminds me, there's 95% off Square Enix Eidos sale on stream. What? That sounds like Chrono Trigger on Steam is probably cheap right now. But I also heard the Steam port was really bad. Maybe that's why, yeah, that's why games like that are on sale. 70 likes, that's amazing. Thank you guys for liking the stream. If we get up to 100 likes, everybody gets 100 rupees down in the chat. Uh, I don't know if we've even had 100 people watch so far. Currently, we have 50 people watching, which is amazing. Actually, you know what? Usually, when that happens, when we hit 50 people watching at once, everybody gets 100 rupees in the chat. This raid has really uh, rewarded you guys well with some rupees. Those can be used to play games in the chat if you don't know what they're for. 70 like hype. Awesome! I love the chill streams. There's just a few people and me and we get to really chat. Yeah, it's a uh, it's fun because it's different than the big streams, you know, or the ones where you're really, really focused on the game and you can't you don't really get a chance to hang out. Yes, thank you again, Raiders, all of you Raiders. Whoa, wrong button. I want to refine this. Um, it's a bundle of over a hundred items. You can't buy them individually, so I don't think there's any Square Soft games. Oh, got it. If we get 150 likes, can we raffle off the hat? Um, no, I got to actually talk to my wife. She was the one who kind of came up with the idea. So when we get to a point, we, next stream, we might do it at 100 concurrent viewers, but we were shooting for uh, 150 viewers all at once, and we got up to 147. <laughs> like, at the end of the stream, it showed me how many people were watching at once at the highest point. It was 147. If we got up to 150 people watching at once, we were going to raffle off one of the new basement beanies using rupees, and uh, we didn't quite hit it. Um, so I do, I do really want to get up to that, that mark, but I don't know if we'll do a raffle at that mark or if we'll do it at a lower mark on Saturday. Uh, but I have a feeling the streams are going to continue to grow. I have a feeling that uh, the channel, as the channel continues to grow, uh, it's just going to be more and more of a popular situation. So uh, why not? Why not fuel it with a little bit of some giveaways and some things like that? There are some other uh, giveaway items that are going to be appearing soon as well. So see, our plants are starting to grow. They're starting to become healthy. So that's good. And it's going to say unauthorized farming soon. All right, we're just going to keep these plants just like that. We're going to go back over here and see if we can't uh, build something with our craft bot. Trying to remember what I started building with the craft bot, like the first thing that we did with it. Uh, when we got here in the other game that I was playing, we had already been playing for quite a while, so we had a lot more stuff. So this is a little miniature craft bot. This big one 
can build all sorts of great stuff. Um, but I like how I just have an imprisoned guy over here now because I'm trying to save him, but I don't know how to open this thing. It looks like there's some sort of hinge. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, you could go on this table. No. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This thing can be hooked up to vacuum pumps. Don't know exactly how this would work with vacuum pumps, but you can make really crazy contraptions, dude, uh, in this game. Interactive stuff, so we can make vacuum tubes later on. Chests, these are important. It takes metal and glue to make a chest. Good to know. A water container. Connected to a vacuum pump that is underwater to fill the water container with water. That's going to be nice for... For uh, watering the plants in the future. Thrusters, interesting. Toilets, also interesting. Cool, so we can make seats, and these seats are going to go, uh, to be able to go into the builds that we make, the machines and so on. Uh, Yeah, so good to see you guys. And it, yeah, I know that doing your stream at a random time also opens us up to being able to do raids and stuff with channels that we don't normally get to. So thank you again, Raiders, for being here. Um, well, that's, that's a building. Let's go over there. Let's all raid this building. <laughs> how about that? Hey, Harrison, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, when are you going to be with Peter? So, yeah, that's a good question. I think we're going to try to find a way to hang out together tomorrow night. Although, we'll be recording, not streaming tomorrow night. Because uh, we do have videos that come out every day. And so we have to record those at some point. We've been recording them um, just by doing a Zoom, like a video chat together. And then one of us will point the camera at the other's, at their screen so the other person can see what we're doing, and then we just both record audio, and we play like that. Is there another building uh, building raid? Yes! We're all going to raid the building. <laughs> I hear the robots. I do not see the robots. There he is. He's up there. Refine the scrap metal down. Why am I hearing another one? Probably because it's above me. Component kits. So important. So needed for making cool things. Some carrots and some seeds of some type. Gasoline and some paint ammo. Whoa, we're almost full on our inventory. Oh. This is my first live video. Well, welcome, Aiden Showers. You know, they say Aiden showers brings May flowers. Wait, they don't say that. More component pieces. Nice. 
Um, I can just walk across this very nimbly. All the way to the nothing that is on the other side. Perfect! What I like to see. Nothing on the other side. Alright, we raided enough of this building. Let's go back home. There is fall damage in this game, but it's pretty generous with not killing you. <laughs> Wait, how did I make you choke, Siren 7? <laughs> oh, Aiden showers bring May flowers. I bet that's what it was, because it was a stupid joke. <laughs> uh, ah. Yeah, if the trees fall on you, they hurt you. You want to watch out. What is going on? <laughs> that truth's freaking out, man. Yeah, welcome to, back to the basement, the chokiest place on YouTube. We will make you choke on whatever it is you're eating or drinking, and you will have to call the police. <laughs> Don't call the police <laughs> if you're choking. Uh, hey, uh, by the way, guys, I highly recommend everybody learns how to do a self Heimlich maneuver. Um, there are ways to do it using a chair. Um, these days, a lot of people are sitting at home in their house alone, sitting at their office, whatever, eating, da 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 da. And uh, if something goes down the wrong pipe and all of a sudden you find yourself choking, there's not always going to be someone right there ready to pop it right out of your gullet. So, Google it. YouTube, I'm sure you can find YouTube videos. It's just a good skill to know how to self-Heimlich maneuver. And while you're at it, you might as well learn how to do a real Heimlich maneuver, too. Uh, but you don't want to, like, practice it on somebody who isn't actually choking because you can break ribs and stuff. But it's a good idea to know, uh, at least sort of know, how to do it. So that way you can help somebody or help yourself. If you get in that situation. Choking awareness. Hashtag choke awareness. Choke awareness month. So we're only a little bit short on materials to make a refinery bot. And that, that bot is my fave bot. It's my fave bot. We might as well craft some metal pieces. Um, and we will put our component parts... Yeah, we're just a little short on those. I bet our food is probably matured. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm afraid of bees. Michael with a B. Where's the bee? Bees? <laughs> I've seen that in compilation videos. And it's funny. Oh, yeah. Gotta love that. Got some food. Um, whoa. <laughs> the rest of them just growed. All right. Let's lay down the rest of our soil. We didn't even get bothered by bad guys last time, so... Okay, then let us grow. That's a hunk of the month calendar. Tomato seeds, please. Um, don't really care about potato seeds yet. Pretty sure potatoes are actually ammo in this game. Which would make sense. I mean, any of you guys ever made a... Ooh, unauthorized farming detected. So we're going to have... The bad guys are going to attack us in... Seven minutes.
something that uh, this game really did right, as well as Stardew Valley, and Minecraft could learn a thing from this or two. Um, like, I, I understand that Minecraft wanted to make it so you could just make flowing water go around the stuff that you wanted to be able to grow. But I really like the fact that they make it kind of annoying to have to water the plants. Just because then it, it creates like a, a sense of I want to upgrade my stuff so that way I don't have to deal with this annoyingness anymore, you know? Ooh, my guy's getting thirsty. Build up the wall a little bit. <clears throat> Protect my crops. Okay. Um, thirsty, that means eat a tomato, because they are very moist. Okay, bad guys attacking in six minutes. That gives us enough time to... Um, I don't even know what we're going to do with that time. Probably just collect some more wood for now. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... I'm going to empty my inventory... A little bit into here and we're gonna go and collect scraps from those places you know what I don't want to just leave them loose like that I want to actually place them let's put those in there let's grab those component pieces and we'll place these in there We'll put those things in there. We'll take the wheel and the head out of there. We'll put some plants, some things that can be stacked. That's what I want to do. Put that battery up high. Um, we'll stack some embers. Just because they look cool. Uh, we got buckets. Four, four and a half minutes until we get raided by robots, guys. This is going to be fun on the bun. Um, hmm, apparently, I can't put the buckets down. So that's that's cool. I will put my hunk of the month calendar up and put these little flowers there. That's nice. We'll put our honeycomb up on the wall. Let's collect our metal and craft some more metal blocks because why not? And let's put our gasoline containers here. It's funny how uh, I'm, I'm like playing this game on my own now, but I'm putting everything where we decided things should go in in our other uh, world that we're playing together. Because it's not a procedurally generated map. It's everything's the same. So I'm just putting things kind of where they go. Quote unquote, where they go. Oh, we did have fertilizer, so we could theoretically speed that up. Got three minutes until they come to attack our vegetables. Our vegetables. All right, let's see here. Batteries, sure. Let's put the battery up here. I like that we can just hang things on the wall. Really convenient. Put our potatoes down there. And I'm going to go ahead and light up the area that we're going to be working in. <clears throat> and by working in, I mean protecting from robots.
There, now we have a lit up area. So nice. We got one minute and 58 seconds. It's just enough time to chop down a tree nearby. Oh, tree fell on me. Not my fault, tree fell on me. I've been expecting you, Greg Bond. <laughs> Glad to be expected. Ah, it works because he's Dr. Volk. I try to assimilate, but I'm just not as good as the Borg's collective. <laughs> Assimilation is futile. At least that's what I've heard. Did the basement just uh, bot act like I put a link as a joke, or did it get confused? <laughs> See you later, Charlie. To Sylvia, thanks for hanging with us. Okay, we got 30 seconds till robots attack. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Where are they going to come from? Where are they going to go? Where are they going to come from, Cotton Eye Joe? There they are. that might have been it for the raid it's not so bad when you're playing on your own because they don't uh come to just destroy you <sighs> we did it guys we survived the raid ha ha of the robots, the robot raid. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> Zelda meme of the day. Gains world's most powerful sword. 99% of the time uses it to cut grass. <laughs> so once we get the refine bot... Uh, what I'm going to be able to do is go and just get loads of wood and then get them all rev refined all at the same time. So great. Lily's here! Darth Lillian. Lily Lilyvin. And Sir Chaddington. I love the red balloons. No, 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 take love balloons. 
Ba -da 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 German. Come back here, you piece of wood. No, don't do that. Let me just harvest you. This wood is pushing us down into the water. I swear. If you... There we go. Oof. That was close. Plants aren't grown yet, but... We can still do other things while we wait for them to grow. Okay. So far, so good. We're making good headway in the world. Let's go here and collect our metal. Um, we don't have any more scrap metal to make. Let's see how much metal we need for our refine bot. This takes metal. The resource collector. That's pretty awesome. That's going to take 60. We need one more component part and a little bit more scrap metal. We, sh we just need to go do that. Just need to go stink and do that right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go this way. Maybe we'll come across a couple uh, big robots. They'll drop some component parts. It'll be a good thing. Yes, Sir Chaddington, wash those hands. 20 minutes until the next robot raid. Okay. We're we're going to we're going to be just fine. Come on, farmer bots, where are ye? Well, since I'm here by the honeycomb. Beeswax, sorry. We're gonna need the beeswax for making rubber type stuff like wheels. So this is what I am really enjoying about this game. You can take, I mean, it takes big pieces of your inventory, but look, you could just pry apart this entire building. You can use all of the things in your builds. Like I could build my farm walls out of this stuff. Ooh. Tomato seeds. Uh, that's toilet paper. We don't need that. We don't need the cash register. I will take the soil bag, though. Oops, I took the two for three sign. I want this metal chunk right here. Almost filled up my inventory already. All right, let's head back, build up around our farm a little bit, and see if we can't find a giant robot. And by giant robot, I mean just larger than the little robots. On the way back, because they tend to have the component pieces and the scrap metal that we need. And no, these walls do not count as scrap metal. Toilet paper, take it! That's gold right now, <laughs> right? Um, oh, I had a... There's like an idea for a meme... Um, it had to do with toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> oh, someone should totally make a meme of Dora the Explorer talking to Swiper and Swiper's in the bathroom and his hand is outstretched like he needs toilet paper. And Dora says, Swiper, no wiping, Swiper, no wiping. And then he's like, Oh man! <laughs> yes, it's stupid. I don't care. It's great. Oh, that one's already been taken. By me. 
Let's go put all these wall pieces out by the farm. Give it some added protection. Come on. Hello. Look at this. This is impenetrable farm now. Yeah, very worth the effort of going to that place and grabbing the scraps because now we don't have to use actual building materials like wood to protect our farm. Can I get in here still? No, of course I can't. And nothing's grown yet, but at least, at least we have our dignity. Um... Okay, so we will have to build a little door here. There, look at that. Nice and safe for the next 14 minutes at least. But I'm banking it's going to be safe longer than that because we are awesome and we defeat the bad guys. Uh, stuck. Okay, not stuck anymore. I don't really want to go back in that area because it was scary and I got lost. We only need one more component piece and a little bit more scrap metal, and we have our refine bot, which is the best thing ever. So I don't have to use that little scrapey tool anymore. Then it starts to become important to make... What's down here? Well, robot's down here. Oh, another place with dudes that are trapped well let's bring this guy too why not let's make it a party I can't believe we didn't find these guys before maybe when you're playing a multiplayer game these guys don't show up Now that I got the plants, it's a little easier to see where our uh, base is as well, because little red numbers pop up over there, which means our base is not too far away. There's a dude in this ball! It's like a hamster ball, but for a human. I like that spot for him. I think he fits there. Okay, maybe I'll go this direction instead. Still got 12 minutes on that farm area. I already went and raided that thing. Look up how to open that. Yeah, if somebody else wants to look up how to open that, I don't want to really pull up a different window right now. I'm content to go and see if I can find us some more component pieces so we're ever closer to having a refined bot. Well, dang. Water all around. See you later, Applets Kiwi Channel. Yeah, you are welcome. I'm glad I got to do the stream tonight. This is fun. Well, there's a building right over there. 
that's not too far. So we raided that thing. Most of the way to the top. If not all the way to the top. Let's go raid this thing. It's bound to have goodies inside. If you want to say something, put it in uh, a few messages. I like how I read uh, chat messages that are going out to chatters from... Hey, buddy. Yeah, come on. That's right. What did you drop? Scrap. I figure I'm a pretty mixed person. Watching this very family-friendly stream is so good that if you type in all caps, you get concerned. But I'm going to watch Pink Guy after this. <laughs> yeah, that is like polar opposite. You know what, though? I'm kind of like that, too. I, I, uh, we're family-friendly dudes. I work at a church. I enjoy making content that um, I feel really good about, like my kids watching, for example. Um, ooh. Beautiful. There's sand over here with some... Whoa. Some leg. Ah! I knew it. <laughs> I was like, there's a little bit of leg happening. Oh, jeez. They almost killed me. Golly, that was scary. Oh, what's the name of this game? It's called Scrap Mechanic, and I'm playing in survival mode right now. Which is definitely more of a challenge than playing in creative mode. Because creative mode, you, you make things. Man, I wanted a component piece. But maybe, perhaps, chance there are component pieces inside of this building. We've still got eight minutes until the robot raid starts trying to take our crops that we're growing. Component kits. There we go. We've got everything the body needs. I'm hearing robots, but I'm not seeing robots. So that's good. Oh, survival has no creativity. That's the difference. Sure. Sure, Rusty. We can all get on board with that statement. Eight like hype. Woohoo! All right. Still seven minutes until that next raid. Let's go over here and see if we've got what it takes. Refinery bot. We just need a little bit more uh, metal that has been turned into... Scrap metal that has been turned into metal metal. That is so metal. All right, that'll do it. When that is done, you guys, we're going to get to have a refined bot. Woo! What is this big arm here? I wonder if I roll those dudes over to this thing, if they will free them. Nope. Just 
really looks like they could be uh, freed from their prison. Try feeding the cage to the refinery bot? Okay. Deal. Six minutes. Here we go. Refinery bot on its way. Here we go, guys. Refinery bot hype. Oh, my butt hurts from all this sitting. Oh, nice. All right, the refinery bot just kerplunked on top. And what's cool here is you can actually pick this thing up. You put it where you want, like right there. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, let's try feeding that guy into the refine bot. I don't think that that's going to do anything, but... We'll find out. Nope. <laughs> no. Not helping. Um, okay, we have the refined bot. If we get more scrap metal, then we're going to be able to make one of those um, these resource collectors. We only need 30 scrap metal to make that, and it is so good. You guys will see. It's just awesome. You can fit, like, 30 logs in it, and then you put that thing right in front of the refined bot, and it just sucks up the logs one at a time and grinds them down into wood. So we need more scrap metal, which means we need to fight more robots. I don't want to stray too far from this because it's pretty well protected. Is this spawn spawned again? It is. <laughs> I just inhaled spit. <coughs> uh, uh, the chokiest place on YouTube. <coughs> oh. Don't open caged farmer. There is a trader somewhere that you give him the cage and some other materials and 10 and you get weapons and special items. Okay. Cool. I'll just keep those uh, men imprisoned then forever. <laughs> Never to see the light of day. Three minutes. Let's attack this guy. Yeah, once we have a few more materials, we're going to be able to mine mine rocks for metal, which will is just so much better than having to kill robots for metal. There's a chest up here. 2 minutes. Plenty of time. Found a wiki. Nice. Thanks, Sir Chaddington. For gasoline. Nice. There's parts and pieces of things over here. Some robots that are going to want to kill us.
That's right. Took him out f- on a date. Speaking of which, I took my wife out on a date today. We went to um, the r- most romantic place in the world uh, called Chick-fil-A. We recently, in the last 10 years, got those in Minnesota, and we just love that restaurant so much. Mainly because they're so incredibly polite, and also their Chick-fil-A sauce is the best. We went there, and everybody had masks on, of course, and everybody's being all careful and stuff. We go through the drive through and uh, they had people outside taking orders to speed up the process. And I was like, yeah, we'll take spicy chicken sandwich and big giant waffle fry and a sweet tea and we'll also have uh, a normal chicken sandwich because lisa likes the normal one and then i said and we'll take as many chick-fil-a sauces as you're willing to part with and wouldn't you know it they gave us 10 chick-fil-a sauces guys 10 anybody ever had 10 chick-fil-a sauces before all right here we go Raid, robot raid. Here they come. There's one over there. Couple over here. Let's take this guy out first. I think that was it for the raid of robots. Let's go in here and collect our spoils. And by spoils, I do believe we have grown tomatoes. Beautiful. And we still have our buckets, so that's good. Let's grow more tomatoes, as Joshua, my son, likes to say. It's weird, this game has existed for a long time, but it's only had a creative mode, and I just wasn't interested. I like the rush of the danger of having a impending doom. Of starvation, of bad guys wanting to kill you. I love all that. All right, let's go ahead and build us up this wall area again. Mr. Gorbachev, build up that wall. Pretty sure that's not what he said, but hey. All right. We've got scrap metal. We've got scrap metal. Um, I don't know if we have enough scrap metal, honestly, from that robot raid, because they were all little robots. But we'll take a look and see if we can't make... Yeah, we can only make one more set. How many do we need? 30 for this thing? Yeah, we need 30. That's only going to make 10. Grrr! You're making me angry! Rawr! Well, the good news is that I can do this. I can carry this robot over near a tree, you see. Like so. Check this out, and then I just put it in there. I think it can suck that 
tree up if it's in front of it. Apparently not. See how much more efficient this is now? Yes, indeed. Tree killer. Friendliest place on YouTube. I like how it looks like a... Like a face. Like it's eating. You know? Look at that. Just like that. 100 wood. Boom. Done. It's even better when you can start refining metal like that. So we're gonna pick this thing up. We can bring it back. Because why not? So I think it's hard to say what the more important thing is to have right now. I think because we don't have enough metal to make a resource collector, but even if we did... I don't know if we would want the resource connector to be um, not connector, collector to be um, made quite yet because we want to be able to mine metal. So let's take a look at what it takes. We need these metal block two. This is like level two metal. And we have water jugs. We don't have enough metal. And I think we need a lot. Because we need to take these metal block twos so we can make a drill. So we only need we only need 20 metal block twos and 30 metal. So that's probably gonna take us killing like 10 big robots. Which is a lot. But already in this amount of time, we have accomplished way more than I did in my our initial stream of this game. So that's good. That's good news. But yeah, until we get the ability to mine metal, it's not going to make sense for us to get one of those big thingies. All right. Well, let me think here. Metal, scrap metal, giant robot, murder. I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the stream. We'll go and we'll, we'll take this raid and we'll go and raid somebody else. Uh, but I need some help from you guys to figure out who we're going to raid. Um, 
considering we got 30 people watching right now, we can have a pretty healthy raid. Just keep the raid going tonight. Keep the love going tonight. Um, sweet. Thank you, Do So Confidently. As soon as Do So Confidently knows who we're going to raid, we're going to wrap up this stream. We're going to type in Seven Thunder Basement Raid. <laughs> right? Was it light? Or was it Thunder or Lightning? I can't remember now. Two choices. Which one's your favorite, DSC? <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Not, not your favorite, but which which one's your favorite for us for today? K-Fresh, uh, Lightning, not Thunder. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do, let's do K-Fresh. Let's do K-Fresh, and then we'll do a Basement 7 Lightning Raid. You can't raid the basement. We're already here. And you guys, next time we stream this, we're going to have, um, we're going to make our first vehicle. Okay. Cause we're going to, we're going to get the materials needed to make a drill. And then we're going to have to run a vehicle around to drill things down. So it's going to be fantastic. I love it. Basic basement seven lightning raid. That's going to be fantastic. Um, so yeah, what Dr. Volk just placed down there. Lightning and Seven has to be here for the name to continue. Oh. Oh, are they not here anymore? Okay, maybe we'll just do a basement raid then. Okay, so do so confidently. He's going to paste, paste the YouTube channel that we're headed to down below. And then also, we're going to do whatever hashtag she says that we're going to do. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Okay, so everybody just kind of watched Do So Confidently's name pop up. She's going to post kind of a few times in a row. And then we're just going to head straight over there. Cool. Yep, no problem. No problem. I'm just going to kind of watch. Looks like Seven Alt has left the building. That's all right. You don't have to stick around on streams forever. Especially if they're super boring and there aren't even robots to kill. I'm just kidding. They were definitely uh, robots. And uh, boring is in the eye of the beholder. Cool. All right. So it will be just hashtag basement raid. And then the channel that we're going to go to has been posted a bunch of times by Dr. Volk. So everybody on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's go over and raid K Fresh. With the hashtag Basement Raid, hang out on their uh, channel for at least five to ten minutes. If you like what they're doing, go ahead and give them a like. Give them a subscribe. I'll see you guys over there. And we're going to keep this stream going for just a little bit while we get that happening here. Um, how do I... There we go. Okay. New tab. Never lets me go there. Whoa. Something went wrong. Let me try this again. I just got to find him this way. K-Fresh YouTube. Okay, our stream is still going. We are here, live now. Oh, playing Super Mario Maker. Awesome. All right, so we're going to shut down this stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me today. Remember to hang out at K-Fresh for five to ten minutes. Give them a like. Give them a subscribe if you like what they're doing. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you guys next time in the basement.